in Taurus. My name is Marie at Indigo Earth. I am here to do a general reading for you, our Earth Signs Taurus. Thank you for coming into the channel. Good to have you here. I also want to welcome in your cross watchers. Cross watchers, you are here to find out what's going on with your person. Therefore, some of this message could be for you as well. So feel free to swap around the energies as need be throughout the reading. And any time that you do come into this message and you were drawn into it was a time that you were meant to listen to it. Messages coming through for you, Taurus, should reflect some aspect of your current situation. It doesn't have to reflect the whole thing. Or it could just resonate with an inner knowing. It could just confirm something that you've known all along. So take what fits. If it doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. It just might mean that the reading is meant for somebody else this week. But for those of you that this does resonate with, I'm going to have it extended at the end of this video. You can join me over there. We're going to dive deeper into the messages coming through by exploring the zodiac signs that show up in your reading. Those zodiac signs can be about personal relationships, intimate connections, as well as background players, families, friends, extended family, blended family, work associates, colleagues, um, your circle of friends, your significant other's circle of friends, your significant other's family. Um, anybody that kind of influences your energetic field or the energetic field of your connection. And even if you don't know some of the zodiac signs of those players, you'll recognize their energies as I read through those signs in the extended. So the link for that is in the description box below if you choose to join me over there. Otherwise, let's get started. This is for Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and Taurus Rising. Messages for those watching, please. Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, Taurus Rising. Messages for those watching. All right, here we go. So overall energetic theme for the reading, Taurus, we have Ace of Wands. Um, new concept, something brand new beginning. New ideas, new innovation. What is, where are you at right now? What's your current energy? We have the chariot, you're ready to get moving here, ready to get going, will and determination. What is your situation? Nine of Pentacles, wanting independence, um, wanting to do something for yourself, contentment. So what is your challenge here right now? We have the Six of Swords. Um, this could be traveling. This also ha could have something to do with um, physical moving, physically moving. Physically moving away from something or removing some yourself from something. So let's see what life is co-creating with you, with you. What is life working on with you? We have the high priestess, listening to your gut intuition, listening to your inner knowing. Sometimes some things are hidden, so maybe there's a mystery here or some kind of um, inner knowledge that needs to be explored. So how did you get here? What have you been doing up until this point? <laughs> being stubborn, a Taurus, what, being stubborn, um, refusal, refusal of something, we'll see where that goes, so what's heading your way, what's coming in the next zero to three months, we have the Queen of Wands, so there's some kind of influential energy coming in that is going to, um, this could be a mentor, but something that's going to be, um, Creative, artistic, charismatic, some kind of, it, you know, the Queen of Wands is kind of an entrepreneurial spirit, um, something that's kind of genuine. So let's see what you got going for you here then. We have the Three of Wands, opening up possibilities, wanting to um, do something different, wanting to create something different. Wanting to open up doors for new opportunities to come in. So what are the outside influences in this situation? We have the devil, that's Capricorn energy coming in. 
Um, this could be fears. Could also be maybe half truths or some untruths, but we'll see where that goes. Could be trickery, or it could be you know temptation. So what are your next steps in this situation? We have the Five of Swords. So there's going to be some challenges here. Some challenges and some change. Things are getting stirred up. So what's going on here for you, Taurus? Because it looks like you want to break through something here. You want to reboot. You're ready to go. This is something that might involve you having to move away from a situation or a relationship, but you're wanting some sort of independence here and contentment. This has been nagging at you for a while. You've been ignoring it. So what's the big picture here? What's this all about? The magician. Wanting to create something for yourself. Being aware, maybe, of what you're creating. Um, but just wanting the power to be able to move things along the way that you want, to, want them to move along. So how's this all going to play out for you? We have the Queen of Cups. I think you're going to make a heartfelt decision that's in the best interest of yourself. Um, that's also in the best interest of those around you. So let's keep going with this. Let's find out what the, what the situation is here for you, Taurus. <clears throat> Got the Nine of Pentacles. So clarify what the Nine of Pentacles is, please. A heartfelt decision coming through. Heartfelt action. We have the King of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords. And we have the King of Cups. So the Nine of Pentacles is clarified by the King of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and the King of Cups. Too much in your head. Trying to analyze something through, trying to figure something out, trying to gather all the facts. Um, really working more from a mindset of your heart. What's in your heart. Um, opening up to maybe a little bit more of your emotions. Less being in your head, less being judgmental about situations. So in order to gain this independence that you want to gain or this contentment, it's going to require working more from a standpoint of something that's heartfelt and less about your thoughts about it. Thinking too much. Thinking too much about things. Ten of Swords, let that go. Release. It's heavy. It's overbearing. It's overweighted. It's worn itself out. So let's see what the Six of Swords is here. This is your opportunity or your challenge, however you want to look at it. But you have it with the Chariot. So this is this could be driving. This could be physically moving. Um... It could be traveling. You could be going a distance somewhere. So clarify what the Six of Swords is here for our Taurus. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Swords, and we have the Knight of Cups. So you're definitely wanting to take action here, some sort of movement. There's a new path that you're wanting to take, something tangible, something in the 3D realm, right? This is something with physicality in it, and it's setting you on course to take action on something where you've made a decision and you're ready to move forward on it. It's something that... Um, maybe offers you a little bit more self-expression. It opens things up a little bit more for you. Maybe it's coming from a place that's um, more heartfelt and less driven, so to speak. 
this for some of you, this could be about, you know, sending an apology, sending a message, doing something different, sending a message or an apology to somebody, maybe traveling somewhere to send a message to them to make amends. But it's definitely a, a new path. It's, it's something that is um, going to be a new concept. And, and it's going to be done, like, action is going to be taken. You're going to put the, the, you know, you're going to walk the walk <laughs> to deliver. Like, you're delivering a message. And it's something that you want to do. Something that's coming from your heart. So let's see what the High Priestess is. So clarify what the High Priestess is for our Taurus. This is um, what life is working on with you. Again, we have the Eight of Cups, Travel, Movement. We have the Six of Wands. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. So the High Priestess, that inner knowing, is clarified by the Eight of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. This, for some of you, this could have something to do with family. But this is something that feels like home to you. Um, this could be about a job situation. You could be leaving a job and going to a different job or traveling to a different job. Um, but I think it's something that's going to set you up in the long run for victory and success. It's something that's probably been pressing for quite some time. Maybe you got a message that came through that set you in on a new path, maybe to a different position or a different place. For others of you, this just could, again, be traveling. You want to overcome something, a situation, um, something that feels like home to you, something that feels that has been with you for quite some time, something that you've built a foundation with. So let's see what the Four of Cups is, because this is kind of how you got here. May have not been listening to the signs may have been ignoring the signs, may have not been looking at the red flags, maybe just refusing to take part in something. But you got a brand new beginning here, some sort of adventure. We got the Hermit. We have the Page of Wands. And we have the Two of Pentacles. This is something that's been sitting with you for a while. This is a decision only you could make. You've been wanting to do this for a while. And it's come to a point where, you know, you, you may have been refusing to make the decision. And maybe now you were put in a position where the decision was made for you. And so you kind of like, it got things set in motion for you. Because you were really in your head thinking about things for a while here. King of Swords. Trying to weigh out all the facts. You know, trying to put things in perspective. Trying to maybe convince yourself otherwise. But there definitely looks like a physical move or traveling or some sort of driving is involved in this. And maybe it's taken a while for this to kind of come to fruition here. But it's something that you've known for quite some time here. And it's something that you have wanted to do. You just maybe hadn't taken the action to do it yet. So let's see what the Queen of Wands is. This is what's heading your way. Is this is something setting you up for... Um, Prosperity, creativity, artistic expression. Maybe being able to do something of influence that you've never been able to do before. For some of you, this could be taking a new position. 
maybe a new career path, maybe a physical move that's going to put you in a place where you're able to um, do some things differently, free you up a little bit, do something that you've always wanted to do or something that you love to do. Well, these want to jump out. We have death, we have the three of pentacles, and we have the ace of swords. So the queen of wands is clarified by death, the three of pentacles, and the ace of swords. I think you've got some help coming in here. Um, this could be a mentor. This could be somebody that you really admire. Maybe this is somebody that works in a field that you've always wanted to try. Um, it could just be somebody a very um, who's very influential. Um that has kind of built the character traits or the kind of the kind of the concepts needed in order for, for you to make this move. Um, I think this is going to help you transition into the next phase of your life, right? Because help is, it, it's going to be someone who's going to help you build and kind of release you from these bonds. Or from feeling like you can't move forward, or from feeling like you're, you know, you're stuck, like you can't. You're trying to figure your way out, and so to, instead of figuring your way out, this, this is going to help you kind of creatively work your way out of whatever it is that you were trying to figure out in your head. Like a, new ideas are going to come in. Some kind of knowledge is going to be gained here. What is this Eight of Swords here for? Maybe giving you creative ideas on how to um, move out of a situation that you're no longer wanting to stay in because you got the six of six of swords here so you're wanting to you're wanting to release yourself from something you're wanting to um, get away <laughs> want to get away <laughs> um, maybe you're gonna take a flight I don't know. Oh, yeah, here we go. Being able to create something for yourself. Release yourself from something. Start over again. Something that's heartfelt. Something that really just kind of sets you free. You feel good about it. it feel, it's something that feels good. It gives you independence. It gives you contentment. It's something that you created for yourself. That you made happen for yourself. Nobody made it happen forward. For you. You don't have to depend on somebody else. There will be support here, but the support is kind of to elevate you to a different level in your life. It's not here to carry you forward. It's just here to give you ideas so you can carry yourself forward. So let's see what the Three of Wands is. We have the Eight of Wands. This is what you got going for you here. We got the King of Cups. And we got the Queen of Cups. Wow. So the Three of Wands, bringing in new possibilities, um, new opportunities, looking at what could be, um, is really starting to communicate how you really feel. It could be um, forgiveness. It could be looking at a situation more from a heartfelt space making decisions more based on what your heart feels rather than what your head is telling you. 
Um, you got the power couple here. Definitely got the power couple coming in. King and Queen of Wands. But this is also about... Communicating from a part of you that is both your your emotional knowledge, your emotional knowledge, and your feeling knowledge, if that makes sense to you. Because you got the king and the queen of cups. That's like merging of the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Not specific to masculine and feminine energies, but more specific to those energies in you that have not been tapped into yet. Because you're more in your head than you are in your heart. you got the King of Cups here in your situation, but you also have the King of Swords. So they're like competing against each other. And somehow you're equating independence with thought process. And here, it's being able to communicate your feelings, maybe have more compassion, more empathy, more forgiveness, more understanding. And to be able to express it. Because that's what's going to bring in new possibilities for you. It's going to open up more opportunities. So let's see what the devil is, because this is the outside energies. Um, this is Capricorn energy coming in. So far, you got Capricorn, you got Gemini, you got Virgo, you got Cancer Pisces, you got Virgo again, you got Gemini and um, Virgo again, heavy Virgo, Scorpio coming in, and Cancer. If you're dealing with any of those signs. So let's find out what the devil is here. These are the outside influences that might be um, influencing you or influencing your decisions or influencing the situation. We got the Empress, we got the Hierophant, that's you showing up, and we got the Seven of Pentacles. So the outside influence has something to do with, something's hidden, something's, there's something, some kind of guidance or some kind of understanding that's hidden, that's not being like, brought out in the open. It's not, it, there's some kind of like, this is your person, whoever this is. Um, but there's some kind of knowledge that is being not being told. Um, it's kind of like buried. It's been here for a while. Seven of Pentacles. It's been here for a while. This has been a process. You might have been procrastinating. You might have not been do, doing anything, taking action on this. You might not have, like, but it's been sitting with you. There's some kind of untruth here about somebody that's been with you for quite some time. And it looks like it's been influencing a lot of the decisions here. So let's find out what the Five of Swords is. Because these are your next steps. This could be about clearing the air. could be about facing a challenge. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands. And we have the Ace of Swords. Well, this is a decision about taking action against something that is an opposition. And starting over again from a place of, like, truth and authenticity. Um... 
you know, this might be, there might be some opposition here that you have to face. But, you know, you got a choice. You can either go towards, take the high road or take the low road, whichever one you want to take. You've got a choice here. But it's about taking action um, towards some sort of, like, re re reveal, like bringing something out into the open, clearing the air about something. Doing something that you wanted to do that you really haven't taken action on yet. And I think you know there's going to be some opposition coming at you about this. So let's see what the magician is here. Because this is kind of the big picture. Creating what you really, 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 really want. Maybe you feel a little bit powerless in this situation. And this is about taking your power back by doing something that's from the heart and less from the head. So clarify the magician, please, for Taurus. You want to move something forward here. We have the Six of Cups and we have the Hermit. So this is something from the past um, that you've been thinking about for quite some time. It says something to do with something from the past or someone from the past. It's been with you for quite some time. We got the Hermit. And we got the magician. So that's awareness. There's an awareness here, right? Um, and you got the six of cups. So that's, you know, that's a soul connection here. Some sort of soul connection. So let's see what the queen of cups is. This is how this might play out. Okay, got it. So, if this has something to do with the soul connection that you've been very much in your head about, um, there's going to be an opportunity in here for you to, coming soon, <laughs> for you to, you know, because sometimes the Queen of Wands can be about the ego, to you, for you to transform the ego and... You know, maybe you felt a little bit powerless in this situation, not knowing what to do, but maybe to ask for or reach out for help or work together or friendship. This could be about friendship, um, which is going to create maybe something down the long run, a new beginning in love for you. But there's something to do with the ego here and some sort of untruth that has been sitting with you for quite some time that needs to come out. And to take action towards that. There's going to be some opposition faced here with it. But um, you got the magician in what's coming up ahead. And you got the magician in um, the big picture. So this is having the ability to do something about the situation. You have the capability to do something about this situation to reboot this, to start this over again. So let's get one more on the Queen of Cups. No, I'm not taking three. I'll take two. So we have the Queen of Cups, we have the Queen of Swords, and we have the Five of Cups. There's love here. 
there's definitely love here. Um, I think you're seeing clearly there's some regrets about something. And I think you're seeing it very clearly that there's some kind of love that still holds through here for, for someone. Someone from your past. Six of Cups. Someone from the past. Give me one more on this, please. Yeah, it's opening up doors to take a new beginning here. It's opening up doors to take a different path, to do something different, to learn something about this situation. And, you know, the opportunity for you is to, again, you've got the Page of Pentacles in um, your challenge or your opportunity, and you also got the Page of Pentacles in what your possibilities can be. And that's about learning something new. And so this is about taking the necessary steps, leaving behind things that, that aren't um, working for you anymore. And, you know, moving forward, taking action, you know, learning something new, taking action on something that's heartfelt, something, you know, Knight of Cups, making amends or um, making apologies or communicating something that's coming from the heart that's genuine. This is something that's been carrying with you for quite some time. There's been some kind of untruth here. Something that's been being resisted. Four of Cups. But the opportunity is going to be presenting itself here for you. To do something different with this situation. And kind of unwrap yourself from um, feeling like you don't have any power in this situation. This could even just be about opening up lines of friendship, maybe that for, you know, doors that have been closed for you. Um, because you still carry fondness. You, you still carry a lot of love here for this, this, these individuals or this individual. It feels like home to you. And you, you know, life is trying to help you overcome this, but it's like you've got to walk towards, um, what emotionally fulfills you. You gotta leave behind what no longer emotionally fulfills you and walk towards what does emotionally fulfill you. And this, whatever this is, it feels like family. And you've known this. It's not, it's not something that's, you know, unfamiliar to you. But it seems like you've been fighting the heart and working from the head. So the opportunity will come in to transform this ego here. Kind of set yourself free a little bit. Because you're going to be aware of what you're doing. The magician. This might involve some traveling. Some sort of traveling here. Driving a distance. But what you have going for you is that you're able to communicate from the heart. And that's what's going to open up new, new possibilities. So let's see who's showing up here for you. I've got Cancer Pisces. I've got Scorpio. I've got Gemini and Virgo. Cancer. Virgo again. Capricorn. Taurus and Libra. Taurus, you're showing up. Virgo again. Gemini and Virgo again. Heavy Virgo in here. So I'm going to look at those in the extended those zodiac signs, we're going to find out their intentions. For those of you that are not going on with me, let's get a message to you. This is from the Wisdom, the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle deck. Let's find a crystal for you that you can use. Divine Guidance for Taurus, please. We have Lapis Lazula and Aquamarine. 
Lapis Lazuga, Lazula, Throat Chakra, Speaking, Communication. All right, Lapis Lazula, wards off calamities of all kinds and was one of the most auspicious stones in the ancient world. You are, you are an immortal soul who has profound connection with the heavens. Your purpose should be noble. You yearn for spiritual attunement, <clears throat> but you may be hampered by outmolded viewpoints. Take charge of your life. Looking into the past puts your present experience into perspective. You are a lineage breaker. Make the effort to trace family history for deeper insight. There is a spiritual dis-ease with work. There is a spiritual dis-ease. Work with your dreams and journey inward to find deeper insights. Flashes of intuition show the way. Open your heart and third eye. Help comes from on high. Enlightenment is within your grasp. Enhanced per perception shows what operates beneath the surface. Well, there's your devil right here. What's operating beneath the surface. And that's your empress because it's hidden. <clears throat> Study or research is needed. Yours is the gift of true friendship, so protect yourself. Attuned to your divine nature will enhance your well-being. Your soul path right now is divine reconnection. And then aquamarine, <clears throat> hope. Aquamarine has long been a healing gem associated with the sea and also with stimulating psychic abilities. It was believed to protect against seduction. You are deeply intuitive, but you need to assess this realistically. Do not be seduced by vivid images, wishful thinking, or any spiritual claptrap. Use your imagination to create what is for your highest good, and your well-being will follow. If you fall into depression, remember that hope shines in the darkest places. Release any self-defeating programs and listen to your inner guidance. But be objective. Accept what's an offer. Watch out for any idle gossip. Tie up any loose ends before you move on. Remain emotionally unattached. Avoid procrastination. Success may come, may come through a court case. Stay positive and remember your family. There is no reason to lose hope in your heart since well-being is a state of mind. Your soul path right now is seeing beyond any consensual reality or illusion you have created. Hope, Aquamarine. So that's what I have for you this week, Taurus. I hope this helped. For those of you that want to go on with me, the link to the extended is in the description box below. I'll see you over there. And until next time, I wish you peace. Bye-bye.